It's the opportunity for you, the builder, to capture the perimeter of the plank, that is, on the boat. And we're going to show you the different steps on how to be able to do that. Whatever this batten is doing right here is what your plank is going to be doing. Right. So if your batten says, oh, I'm landing right up here and I'm not landing back over here, now is the time to fix that. The same thing on the, on the transom. Right. Just saves you, you can, you can do it later on, but it's not, it's a lot harder. Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at this, Rich. Now we have this on here. And it doesn't look too bad, but let's... Where do you see? Pop this nail here? Let's pop that nail, if you want to use this guy here, that might be, and, and see if that moves just a little bit. How many of these boats do you think we've built here, Rich? Oh gosh. We probably build a couple uh, Chase and Dory tenders a season, along with a number of other white hauls and pulling boats in our uh, introductory two-week course, Fundamentals of Boat Building. Over the years, I mean, well, they're pretty popular boats because they, they, you know, they're very pretty. It's old-time design, yes. and but they're also very, you know, seaworthy. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a great teaching tool. Um, classic, traditional, small wooden boat construction, and uh, aesthetically beautiful boat, and uh, um, very practical boat. Yes. For, for a first-time boat builder.